started the school here in uh, 1947. I was five years old at that time. They were a little more lax on. A bit of a blast from the past here. An Arizona school is looking to its history as it moves toward the future. We're talking about the Kirkland Elementary School District, a small rural school up near Prescott. And the district is celebrating 100 years in the very same building, something that is exciting, but also concerning for the community. Here's Brianna Whitney. Gridlock, traffic, congestion. It's just peaceful to be out here where you don't have the hustle and bustle and the traffic. All of the headaches of rush hour traffic in Metro Phoenix quickly fade in the rear view mirror. On the picturesque drive to Yavapai County, through the desert, into the rolling hills. Near Prescott, you'll drive to an even smaller town, reminiscent of the yesteryears. We moved here in 1954. You know, time moves a little bit different here. It's, it's you know, more like the old days, I would say. You hate to brag too much because you don't want everybody moving up here. <laughs> time stands still. Once you go inside the Kirkland School, it's clear things were built rock solid a hundred years ago. The old stone exterior riddled with cracks. It's now showing its age. What do lemurs eat? On the other side of this wall, 21st century technology being taught here. There were all eight grades in one room with one teacher. The students of Kirkland School today each have their own laptop, although the classroom only has two outlets. It's a world-class education being taught in the same classroom halted in time. So cool because I get to hear stories about the school before I was even here. Molly Hampton is in her final year at the school, eighth grade. I've been coming here since I was in preschool. She's the third generation to go through this very school. Her dad, Brian, who now serves on the Board of Education, was the second generation. I went to Kirkland Elementary School the whole time. And Brian's Aunt Kathy was the first generation to go to the school. Second grade I started, graduated from the eighth grade. Three generations, one family. And when the community found out about us coming to Kirkland, others wanted to share their story too, including Kathy's classmate from the 1950s. Tom Ritter. I'm a third generation here. My daughters are fourth generation. My great grandfather settled here in 1867. The families may not be the same, but the stories are very similar. My father went to school here, and he, I think he started probably in uh, 1922 or so. As the district celebrates its centennial, the community shows its school spirit honoring the historic school, but now there's a need for an upgrade. Some of the other schools in the area had got new schools, so we're really trying to push to, to get a new facility if we can. A new facility isn't just a want, it's actually a dire need. There's zero industry to provide that tax base, so it really is coming from households. Administrator Michelle Perry says even if the district taxed its residents the maximum amount, the revenue wouldn't even come close to replacing the building. And they've been told by the state there isn't a plan in place to build a new school. The way I understand it, they don't have a mechanism to replace um, century year old buildings. Um, they only have a model to build new construction when your district has outgrown your current space. And it's not the square footage they've outgrown. It's the actual layout of the building that causes problems. It's estimated a new building would cost roughly a couple million dollars. Short of an actual two million dollar donation, there's really no way to currently legally do it. The restrictions from the state, however, haven't changed community support for the district. The culture is pretty strong, but our infrastructure is probably our biggest challenge. Nor has this taken away from the celebration, a hundred years of the Kirkland School. It's great, you know, it's great to see the kids be able to to learn and grow in the same place that you did with all that heritage and all that history. We've loved Kirkland. I mean, this is home and it's it's great feeling to know that it's still going after this many years. A trip back in time and down memory lane. For one family, 
in one community. I think it's so cool to see different generations pass through the school. Showing all of us the strength and heartbeat a school can have for a family spanning through several generations and memories that will last a lifetime for an entire community. Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.